Hello everybody, this is Major7 directly from my kitchen on my 24th day of quarantine. A few weeks ago, Adam Neely, that is a YouTuber, a bass player, an amazing music theorist, go check his channel, posted a video about a musical IQ test. IQ stands for intelligence quotient. Usually it is used to measure one's intelligence, but it's not even that reliable because it doesn't take into consideration so many shades of one's intelligence. So I'm pretty curious to know what the this test is going to be about. When Adam Neely posted his video, I decided not to watch it because I wanted to do it myself, but on that day, the servers where that test is hosted crashed because Adam Neely has got so many subscribers and I guess so many people tried to take that test on that day. So I saved it for another time and here I am. I'm going to leave links in the description and everything. So uh, here we go, the music lab tests your musical IQ. This experiment is being conducted by researchers at Harvard University. We study how the mind works, specifically in this research we are investigating how people make sense of music they hear. We will play you some sounds, you can use speakers or headphones. We will ask you to answer questions concerning your emotions and behaviors, your preferences and beliefs about music and the arts, your engagement with musical activities, your personal history of musical exposure and training. You will not receive compensation for participating in this experiment. Please note that we recommend you wear headphones for this quiz. I'm ready to go, I'm wearing my headphones, uh, let's go! Have you played this game before? No. Think about how you feel while you listen to music, in general how much you enjoy music. Okay, I would say not maybe at the top, but really close to it, depends, really. How good do you think your music listening skills are? Things like remembering melodies, hearing out of tune notes, or hearing a beat that is out of sync with the music. Probably somewhere like here. First we'll play you a calibration tone. Listen to the tone and turn up the volume on your device until the calibration tone is at a loud but comfortable level. Okay, this should do the trick. I'm a male. I'm 30. Italy, Italian. Do you have a hearing impairment? No. When you are singing, can you tell if you are out of tune or off key? Yes. Can you tap in time with a musical beat? Yes. Uh, I am in a very quiet place right now. Are you wearing headphones? Yes. In this game, you'll take part in three short tests of musical ability. Each of the three tests is separate from one another and is about a different musical ability. Beat perception, tuning perception and melodic discrimination. You will earn points by listening carefully and answering questions about the music we play you. At the end, we'll give you a score, your musical IQ. This test is about hearing melodies in music. For each question on this test, you will hear the same tune three times. Each time the tune will be in a different key. This is like singing a song in a higher or lower voice. But one of the tunes will be the odd one out. Its notes will have changed. Your job is to choose the odd one out. Wow, this is not gonna be simple, I think. Familiar melody, it's easy. Okay. With a familiar melody, is fairly easy to understand which one is the odd one out. This was easier than expected, the number three is the odd one out. say that number one was the odd one out. Yeah, okay, correct. Are you ready to continue or would you like to do the practice questions again? Where, where are these practice questions? Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm ready to continue. I 
think it's number one. Definitely this time. <laughs> Number two again. Okay, I did now out uh, now. <laughs> I did nine out of eleven, uh, right? So let's go to test number two. The test is about hearing tuning in music. For each question on this test, you will hear two examples of the same music. Sometimes the singer will be in tune with the music, but in other clips the singer will be out of tune with the music. Your job is to choose the example where the singer is more out of tune. So goodbye to Bolero, my sentimental friend. I don't know when I will drop the needle on you again. So goodbye to Bolero, my sentimental friend. Okay, the, the first was more out of tune. Are you for you for me, baby? I disagree when you tell me the purpose for the passing of time. Are you for you for me, baby? I disagree when you tell me the purpose for the passing of time. I, 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 no, 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 no. I feel there is something odd in both of them. Probably the second one is worse. Okay. Are you ready to continue or would you like to do the practice question again? Continue. Now we'll begin the main test. Don't worry if you find the questions difficult. If you're unsure of the answer, it's always okay to make a guess. Okay, same. Like me, any man I can be Like me. painful I could fly through the sky on the open sea I could fly through the sky on the open sea I, I think the first one was worse okay I know your voice I hear it from the depths of the void your voice I hear it from the depths of the void Oh, this was hard Oh, first It's bad enough when one has got a hold on you But two for two, these two have got me singing the blues Seems fine It's bad enough when one has got a hold on you Well, maybe second, but maybe. But I know but I know I would say number one. You say, oh, what if she loves you? She might be thinking. Stay. Stay 
first one. I'll give you silence in the wake of the beast. I'll give you silence in the wake of the beast. First one. Ah, oh, come on. I got four wrong. Completed the tuning perception test. This is about hearing the BG music. On each question, you will hear the same music played twice. Two versions will have different beep tracks. Your job is to choose which music has beeps that were the most on the beat. Okay, nice. Doesn't feel on the beat at all. Laughing because of the face I know I've made. Uh, the second one was most on the beat. Okay. Second one. most on the beat. Nani? Second one? doubts about this one is the second one the most on the first one was most on the beat Definitely the first one. I am wondering whether uh, the f number two and three were really hard or I was not concentrating. Second one. I would say the second one. I'll say the first one. Completed the beat perception test. Have you ever experienced chills or goosebumps in response to music? Have you ever, generally speaking? If so, I would say yes, often. How familiar are you with traditional music from around the world? I'm somewhat familiar with traditional music. When you were little, how often did your parents, did your parent, parent, one, okay, <laughs> sing to you? Probably two, three times a day, maybe four, seven times a day. Have you ever had any music theory training? Some music theory training. Okay. Our estimate of your musical IQ is 110. You did as well as or better than 74.75% of people. We estimated your score in the same way as real IQ test too, based on all the other people who have taken the test. We set 100 as the average score following a normal distribution with a standard deviation of 15. This is just a hypothesis though, it might turn out to be wrong. 
Okay, well, that was pretty interesting. For a few questions, I'm wondering whether I was not concentrating because, yeah, in a couple of moments, I was thinking about something else. I would say that some of these questions were very difficult. For example, when I work with my tracks, when I am mixing my things, I usually immediately notice if something is slightly off. Sometimes I fix it, sometimes I don't. Uh, it depends on my mood, I guess. I thought that for mistuning perception, I would have done better. For melodic discrimination, uh, that is a lot about feeling. There were some tunes that felt different because they used different scales, so it's all about, I guess, um, uh, feelings, emotions, how a melody makes you feel, much more than trying to remember the tune. Sometimes I did that and it didn't work. Far as it concerns beat alignment, I don't usually play live at least instruments that require you to be extremely precise on the beat. So I don't play drums, I don't play bass live. Whenever I do it at home, I am working on it. I used to do that when I was studying piano and I stopped studying piano when I was 14, so it's been quite a long time. Now that I'm recording quite a lot of things at home, I am using um, the metronome much more. I should probably work more on my beat alignment. I agree with that. I don't know what to think about this test. I think in this kind of measurements, there are so many variables that uh, it's really hard to give uh, a number on your skills. I think it's pretty fair, given that it measures your score based on other people's scores, but it's probably not very accurate in determining whether you are a good musician or not. But that's what the people that made this test are saying. They said this is a new test, however, and so if you didn't do very well, don't worry, the test might be wrong. But I think it was a pretty funny 20 minutes of my day in this quarantine's day. If you want to try the test yourself, I'm leaving the link in the description and uh, feel free to take it yourself and let me know your results. One other thing I noticed about this test is that it doesn't really seem to take into consideration the amount of time you've spent uh, on a musical instrument. Yes, it asks uh, some questions uh, about this at the end, but I think the score doesn't really take that into account. IQ tests normally try to measure something that um, is uh, already within you, it's not something that you have to practice on to get a better result. Practicing could result in a little bit of an improvement, but not a significant one. And I think that in this test, being able to play a musical instrument, being involved in music deeply, is going to give you a very different result from a person that has never experienced uh, practicing on an instrument for a long time. So these are my thoughts about this test. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel if you like its content and hit like on this video. I'm really hoping to see a lot of comments from you people. Thank you all for watching again. Bye bye by Major 7.